Sure. But if you can see, can you tell me what rule I need to use for example one? Um, let's see. Is it the product rule? I'm not sure. No, it is. That's okay. correct. That is yeah. correct. The first function is going to be this 4x cubed, and the second function is going to be this sine of x. So um, I don't know how rusty you guys are. So I'm just going to uh, make some adjustments. I'm going to recall this, this function k so that I can call this guy f and I can call that guy g. So let's do f is equal to 4x cubed. Then what is f prime going to be? f prime is going to be 12x squared. And then sine it, the g is going to be sine of x and the derivative of sine is its cousin, which is cosine of x. And I know it's not negative because it's not a co thing. Okay. So really the, the new part, <laughs> the new part is just this, this finding this g prime here. The rest of it is just section 2.3. So we can write out what our product rule is, the derivative of a product fg is equal to f prime g plus g prime f. And then we're just going to write in the relevant pieces. So this is going to be um, 12x squared times sine of x plus um, cosine of x times 4x cubed. Is there any questions about that example here? No questions. Um, great. Aisha, what do you think about example two? What rule would you um, want to use? Uh, what's it called? Quotient rule? Correct. Okay. Good. So again, this guy is the top function, and this guy is the bottom function. Uh, let me relabel this guy J. Okay, just, just so that I can call the top here F and the bottom here G. So just like before, you know, we've got uh, our F is gonna be equal to cosine of X. That makes our F prime equal to, it's negative because of the co thing in front and then cosine and sine, their derivatives are their cousins. So it's negative sine X. That's really the new thing that we learned in this section, just this one little new thing. But we're practicing our quotient rule again. So, um, so our g of x is going to be 5x cubed, and then our g prime is going to be 15x squared. Okay. So now we just apply the quotient rule. The quotient rule says that the derivative of f divided by g is going to be equal to f prime g minus g prime f all over g squared. So we just got to write in the relevant pieces. So this is going to be equal to negative sine of x times 5x cubed minus 15x squared times cosine of x, all divided by 5x cubed squared. Is there any questions about this um, answer? No questions. I have a, a quick question for you. Um, so I'll just put this in red. How do I simplify 5x cubed quantity squared? I want to play three, two, one, go. Just, just to conduct an experiment. So I want you to take this, I want you to simplify it. And tell me what you get over here. And um, 
I'll give you, I'll give you a moment to do that. And then, and then we'll, uh, we'll count it down. Oh. So think about that for a second. Type your answer in the chat box. Then we'll count it down. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, great. Okay. Um, I see a lot of good answers here. So let, let me let me just express myself here for a second. After grading like two weeks worth of quizzes, uh, for most of you, the problems that you're having are actually algebra problems, um, not exactly calculus problems. So I just kind of have to review basic algebra things as we go along. Uh, if you have something like a times b to the power n, then that raises each term to the power n, and then you multiply it together like that. So this is just true in general. This is an algebra rule. Okay. So if we do that with this particular denominator here, that becomes five squared times um, x cubed squared like that. And five squared is 25. And when you have a power to a power, you multiply the exponent. So that's gonna be x to the sixth power. So this would be the simplified denominator. I hope that makes sense. Um, but, you know, it's a basic math thing that we want to review. All right. Any questions about these first two examples? On your quizzes and exams, I don't need you to simplify product rules and quotient rules but I would simplify if you have to calculate a second derivative. 